And in that same area, it talks about how can they hear if uh, no one preaches? How can, no, how can someone preach if one isn't sent? And it's talking about God sending the preacher. So that's the uh, reason why, one reason why we're up here. And then kind of the sub reason is that um, we believe that uh, it's our job to uh, not only talk about God's love, but also uh, warning people of judgment to come. And uh, in Ezekiel 33, it talks about uh, uh, watching the people set up in the city tower city, and they keep watch about the city. And if they don't sound their trumpet at the sign of danger, when uh, then they're going to be at fault. The blood of the city is at their hand. That's illustrating something similar here, and that is, if we don't tell people about God's, the coming judgment, and we only talk about the God's love, and God is forgiven, then we're at to blame, because we were supposed to send the trumpet, meaning we were supposed to talk about the trumpet. So that, that's uh, one reason. Uh, another big reason is for the professing believers that we come across, which are doing this. Uh, and uh, they, because of the, uh, the churches around here, are often teaching uh, false doctrine, like, um, for example, you can live however you want to live and think you're still going to heaven. Now, we, we tell them being a good person doesn't get you to heaven, being a good person won't save you. But we tell them that a sign of being born again is a different lifestyle. A, a lifestyle of righteousness and not one that's just so sin. And so, um, yeah, they're, they're uh, I don't know if that's surprising you or not, but there's a lot of churches around here that do stuff like that. And we feel that, you know, it's just as important to talk to them as it is the unbelievers because, uh, you know, they often are, think they are on their way to heaven, but they're just deceived and they're on their way to heaven. What do you guys think?